I'd like to think with you about this next step in your research project. Here is your final research project assignment sheet and you've figured out a topic. Now the next thing you're going to do is make an outline and a, a preliminary list of sources you might use. So what in the world are we doing? We're trying to get organized and I'm going to share with you this one page outline um, a, a suggested steps you might work through as you're doing some research. So the first thing is to think about what is this thing about anyway? Um, if you have a really big topic you might think, you know what, I'd better narrow this down a little bit. Um, so I might start out thinking, oh, my topic's going to be solar energy. And then as I start looking at books and articles, I realize, oh, that's, that's kind of big. Maybe I want to narrow that one down. Maybe I want to do passive solar heating. Or maybe I want to do solar panels and maybe some subset of that. Um, I'll share with you what a professor of mine once said to me, you don't have to write about everything you know. <laughs> you can just write about one topic in this paper or PowerPoint. Save all that other stuff you know for another time. All right, so you might be starting to think about what is this going to be about? And if you're having trouble with that, just go on to the next step, which is gathering information. So there's a vast uh, universe of information out there. How are we going to dial it in? And I'm going to use as an example, this is an extreme example, I realize, but let's say uh, I'm back 10 years ago. I'm starting to write my textbook about sustainability. And I'm trying to figure out, oh my gosh, so what should I put in this book? I probably want to say, what is sustainability? I think I'd better go find out what other people are saying about it. So I can go to the library. Here's the LCC library. And if I just type in sustainability, I see some various books. OK, those look reasonable. Oh, look, so there's some other stuff happening. Here's one about um, social equity and environmental justice. Here's one that's about sustainability on campus. Here's one that's about sustainability, uh, the history of it. And then there are, oh my goodness, a bunch more down here. Sustainability in IT. Oh, look, there is one by me. That's my older edition. OK. Oh, and there's my dictionary. Uh, so I might check out a few of these books from the library and just start thumbing through and see if I can get dialed in a little bit. Uh, now I might go to the Google machine and I might type in something like what is sustainability? Be careful about this because there's all kinds of junk out there. You want to look for good sources but here's Here's something that Google says is from Oxford, so that's probably a good source. They're defining it. OK, that's interesting. Uh, here's one that's from a university, from UCLA. And I happen to know that they have an excellent sustainability program, so I might go to this website. Now, the next one under it is something we've never heard of and uh, that's very nice that you matter, but we don't know who this is. It's not a university. It's not a government agency. I think I'm going to steer clear of that. Here's something from the EPA uh, that might or might not be good. In past years, it was good. In recent years, I don't know. Investopedia, that's probably not where I want to go. Here's Wikipedia. Now, um, keep in mind that anybody in the world can post to Wikipedia. So this page is going to change constantly over time. Um, about five years ago, after I'd written my first textbook, I went to this Wikipedia page 
and I was shocked at how bad it was. It was just horrible. Uh, now, today, we go here and we see, okay, it's been improved. There are some good concepts here. They've done a much better job of sourcing. So, Wikipedia is a way to get your thoughts organized, maybe, and it's a way to find some sources. It's not a source in itself, but it's a way to get started. Uh, another thing I like to do is what I call the library at Amazon. <laughs> so I've gone to Amazon.com and typed in sustainability. And they have, oh looky here, 20,000 titles. So that's, that's your signal that, yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, some better than others. And you can see there's things about business and climate and so on and so forth. Uh, here, there's my second edition. Here's my third edition. Now the thing about Amazon is that they have this handy feature called Look Inside. I use this a lot, actually, even when I'm not buying a book. So if you go to Look Inside, and over here on the edge it says Explore Contents, I like to go to the table of contents for a book and look here. Here is the table of contents. This happens to be mine for my book, but never mind that. Uh, what is helpful about this is it gives you a preliminary way to organize your ideas. And so here is what this author thought were some ways to group these ideas. Oh look, and it's even subdivided further. There's a part one that gives you context and a part two with issues. And then the issues are divided like that. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. I'm beginning to get an idea how I might set up my outline. Now, when I start making an outline, uh, I just start throwing stuff on paper, and it's perfectly fine for you to do this. So my first run at this one was, I'm just thinking about, okay, I guess I'd better define this. What is it? Uh, thinking some more. Uh, you know, I probably want buildings, because we do solar heating and stuff like that. Anything else I should include? Oh yeah, recycling. That's a big part of sustainability. I'll put that in. What else? Oh my goodness, climate change. That's huge. And then maybe the triple bottom line, I should put in something about economics. Okay, there's a start of an outline. Now, can I think of any more details here? Hmm. Well, uh, buildings, I know that in buildings we want to do solar heating, passive solar heating. That might be a subheading. And maybe I want to think about where do we get our energy? So maybe I'll put in renewable energy. Okay, what else do I want? When I'm thinking about recycling, uh, which is one of the first things people think about when they say re uh, sustainability, well, how do you do it? Okay, but wait a minute, why do you do it? Maybe I should have a section about that. See how I'm just, I'm thinking on paper. This is totally rough, uh, but that's okay. Oh, climate change, huh? Well, that's a big topic. I probably better talk about the science behind it. Okay, now I'm done. Am I done? Oh, wait, no. I better talk about uh, why we should care. What are the impacts of climate change? And then, oh, well, this is about how can we be sustainable, so I better think about how can we address climate change. So there we go. This isn't really an outline, this is just a list and I've got some subtopics under there. That's totally fine. Um, now, I could, if I, if I like outliney stuff, I could select that thing and go up here to uh, words outline thingy. Do something like that so it'll number all the topics. Uh, but then I need to come in and do sub sub things. This this can be kind of annoying, although I like to do it. 
as I work my way through this thinking out or thinking on paper, I eventually wind up with a big old outline. So as I'm going along, I'm just thinking, okay, what should be in this chapter? All right, there's what is sustainability. And as I went to the library and Amazon and so forth, I started thinking of topics that might go in here and I started putting them in there. And then things where I wanted to make notes to myself, I put them in italics, just a uh, note to self. Um, and then I wound up, once I had a kind of an outline formed, and I realized this is an outline for a whole 400 page book. So this is way more than you're going to do for a single paper. I'm just showing you how you can think on paper and gradually flesh this out. So I had my outline beginning to be developed. And so then I started keeping a list of books I wanted to read. And now in my case, I put the catalog number of the book here. And uh, when I looked in the book and I found there were only a few pages that related to what I was doing in that chapter. I even wrote down the page numbers. So um, you can turn in an outline like this. Um, it can be it can be even simpler than this. It can just be a few ideas that you're thinking about. And then uh, else, either on this page or on a separate page, make a list of what you think you will use as your sources. And um, you might do, uh, you know, if you, I can't remember the name of that EPA website. Um, but let's say it's that. So you might write the name of the, the website that you're looking at. Uh, there was something at uh, uh, ucla.edu. So I might put that in. Then I'll have the name of the, the books that I'm going to, to do. Cardona. I'm going to do History of Sustainability. That's going to be one of my sources and so on and so forth. I'm just trying to get you started on this path of thinking about what is your research about and where are you going to find information and then as you go along uh, begin organizing your your stuff. So um, where am I? So I think I think we are done with that and I'm going to stop now.